Hi, I'm Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here at the Haas School with uh, John Slavitt, who is the managing director of WeWork for the West Coast. Welcome, John. Thank you very much. So, so John, as uh, managing director at WeWork, um, you're responsible for building out the office of the future for small companies and now increasingly for, for larger companies. Um, what do you see happening in terms of the future of, of, of the workplace? I mean, are there general trends that go beyond the uh, typical traditional small business clientele? Are there things that, that we're learning about how people work and uh, what makes for good productivity and, and collaboration? Uh, th are you guys collecting kinds of data that are helping you to um, learn more about how people operate in organizations? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for the question. Uh, we're learning a lot, and uh, you know, one stat that's pretty amazing for us is last month we we brought on over thirty thousand new members. So if you think about that run rate, we've got hundreds of thousands of people coming into our platform and using our buildings and using our technology. So um, we have a lot of people um, taking a lot of steps and doing a lot of clicks and. And, um, and yes, we're learning a lot. I'll start macro in terms of the big trends, then back to you know, sort of what do we do, what do, we do with this data. Um, I think the first uh, recognition that, that, um, that uh, in, terms of, in terms of design that startups had a long time ago, and a lot of value-based tech companies uh, started designing to a long time ago, is that um, people do better in, uh, in certain kinds of shared spaces and do better in community. Um, our co-founder, Miguel McKelvey, is an architect, and his mantra is that we design spaces to encourage interaction. That means a lot of different things. It means that um, uh, little details like our community bar where our community team sits that runs the building, uh, we'll put the, the high-end touch espresso machine right built into that community bar so that our members are forced to interact mm -hmm. with our team and get to know them when they get their espresso in the morning. Um, we look at the width of hallways, uh, make them really wide, people are less likely to run into each other. It's also less efficient. Make mm -hmm. them a little more narrow, people actually run into each other. We look at the thickness and um, uh, of the glass that separates offices and we've tested what thickness is uh, doesn't put someone in a tomb, but gives them enough privacy where they can kind of hear what's going on around them and actually feel connected what's going on around them. We put a lot of intent and, and design into our common spaces mm -hmm. and how they're designed and everything from what kinds of furniture people actually tend to use, what kinds of arrangements. Um, so when it comes to sort of physical design, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot that we've learned over the eight years now the company's been in business around just how we design the physical space. Um, and the balance of open common space and private space. Um, that's number one. Number two is that, um, is that uh, in terms of sort of workforce trend, that uh, technology is accelerating, but people want to actually be connected uh, kneecap to kneecap and on a human basis. So we gather a lot of data about our members, their interests, um, the domain and sector they're in, um, we have a lot of internal alerts that we, that, we, um, that we set and we gather and we collate and, and analyze in terms of the trajectory of companies. Um, and we take that data and we design um, experiences and uh, events and, uh, and moments of connection to actually bring them together. So we know that statistically, and this is, this is authors have called this loose ties. The more loose ties someone has, has in one of our communities, the more likely they are to stay. Mm -hmm. So that's the second thing that we're seeing. And that's across company boundaries, not it's in just the, It's in the community yeah. defined by a building. So our average right. location might have 12, 1,300 members. Um, you might have a couple larger companies that have one, 200 people in that building. Mm -hmm. The rest are going to be small companies. So it's really making the connections mm -hmm. uh, with and among that community as a member. So that's a big theme for us is how we actually create connection. There's some data. There's some art. Um, there's technology and there's human touch. Um, I mean, macro, when it comes to big companies, because now you, you mentioned that, that we do have a lot of big companies that we're working with, uh, big companies realize that their, their, their future uh, leadership <laughs> um, 
much of it doesn't actually want to work in the environment they provided to them, uh, and it's a big problem. Um, so, you know, culture and the design of their space and the vibe and the energy is, it's just, it's lame in a lot of big companies and a lot of other companies. So, um, so it's become a core issue for attraction of talent, retention of talent, and when you actually, it's like bringing someone to your apartment or your home. It's either an interesting experience, doesn't matter how grand it is, but mm -hmm. it could be an interesting experience or not, and visiting companies is the same way. So um, big companies are coming to us to get our help to think through um, uh, all aspects of what I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Physical environment, the technology that runs the environment and connects people, mm -hmm. and the idea of flexibility. From a P&L perspective, if you're a CFO of a big company, or from a balance sheet perspective, mm -hmm. I should say, and you've got billions of dollars of lease obligations on the bottom of your balance sheet, and you have no idea how many employees you're actually going to have in each of mm -hmm. 50 cities around the world, you don't want to be signing 10-year leases anymore. So flexibility uh, is a big deal as well. So I, you know, I think of your company as providing space as a service, so to speak. Um, and one of the great things about these service companies is that kind of elasticity that you can expand and contract as needed. Mm -hmm. But one of the other great features of a, a service company is the, the um, connectivity and the, the amount of data that you can collect mm -hmm. about how people use your product. Mm -hmm. are, are there any kind of ways of, of collecting data from your users uh, that, that is enabled by this type of, of, of model? Um, ways that you know architectural firms would have um, the, the corporate companies sitting between them and, and the mm -hmm. end user, so they weren't able to actually you know, harvest this data. Right. Um, are there interesting ways of, of collecting data in the, the, the bricks and mortar space mm -hmm. uh, that, that you find useful, that, that um, are novel, that uh, enable you to do what, what you're trying to, mm -hmm. uh, trying to accomplish? So we, uh, our buildings are, are replete with lots of sensors. Um, so um, we, we know um, the use of various parts of the building. Um, we know how people are circulating throughout the building. Um, you know, we know uh, are those uh, phone booths being used more or less um, uh, or, or a particular area of the building, a, mm -hmm. a common space. This how, is it like beacons or, or uh, motion detectors or, you know? Combination. Yeah. Um, so... Um, so we've got that, we've got that data. Um, you know, we're, um, it's early days of, 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 uh, of kind of what it means and how to truly leverage it. And we're very, very careful. This is, um, this is not data that, you know, is being shared or sold, or this is just mm -hmm. internal data to make the product better, right? So that's, that's ironclad with us. Um, are you able to our members are our customers. Are you able to somehow correlate, for instance, space usage and, um, and you know, speed of growth for for instance for some of these companies mm -hmm. the most interesting things for us to start by collecting this kind of data uh, and so that that's one set of data and there's another set which is we have an we have an OS we have an app that runs the experience of our space mm -hmm. so when you become a member you create a profile uh, you can then connect with other members anywhere in the world through our member network um, you can reserve conference rooms, put in a facilities ticket, ultimately control your holistic environment. Um, the vision for our space is to be fully responsive to you. So to the extent that you want to opt in to whatever the service is, and we'll be very overt mm -hmm. with people about what they're opting into, um, we can make the space more connected, more responsive. So, so that first set of data about how people are using the space is really about design and functionality. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, it's which spaces are being used most often, uh, which conference rooms are most utilized, which times of the day, and for what kinds of meetings. Mm -hmm. So literally um, kneading that back into the dough and rebaking it every time to make the space um, um, uh, sort of better designed, more functional, more responsive to need. That's, that's that. When it comes to the digital uh, piece of it, one thing we know from our um, surveys and exit surveys of those who either stay or leave is that uh, the, the key things that keep people, keep, people, keep people in our communities, excuse me, are connectivity to the community team, the people who are running the building, mm -hmm. um, responsiveness to solving their issues, and then connectivity to other members. Mm -hmm. So those loose ties. Mm -hmm. And we know from surveying that about 70% of our members do some kind of business with each other. <coughs> so those two sets of data help us to provide a ver better physical experience in the space, mm -hmm. and, the other, and the other set is about 
better connectivity. Mm -hmm. um, the more connections, um, the, uh, the more referrals, the more business. You can maybe even do some matchmaking. And, well, we do it. Yeah. We just, it's, it's more organic now. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you, John. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Mm -hmm.